President Joe Biden is receiving backlash over his call to retaliate against Houthi forces, this time from within his own party. Some Democratic lawmakers are questioning why he bypassed Congress in the decision to launch a retaliatory attack since the Constitution requires military action be authorized by Congress. The Iranian-backed Houthis have disrupted international trade by launching attacks like this on commercial ships in the Red Sea. The Houthis have been relentless in their ambushes. They have launched dozens of attacks since the Israel-Hamas war. Its largest scale attack happening this week, despite warnings of consequence if they continued launching a barrage of missiles into the ship channel. This week, 21 missiles were launched by the Houthis, directly targeting American ships. So in return, President Joe Biden called on the military to take action. U.S. and U.K. forces hit 60 targets on 16 Houthi sites. Then Biden said if the Houthis continue their attacks, they'll be hit again. But the president's response is being met with some criticism from within Congress on his party's side. Progressive Rashida Tlaib wrote on X, the president is violating Article 1 of the Constitution by carrying out airstrikes in Yemen without congressional approval. The American people are tired of endless war. A shared sentiment from progressive Cori Bush, the people do not want more taxpayer dollars going to endless war and killing civilians. Democrat Mark Pocan said the United States cannot risk getting entangled into another decades long conflict without congressional authorization. The White House must work with Congress before continuing these airstrikes in Yemen. While some Republicans are sharing the concern of Biden bypassing Congress, Biden is getting more support from the Republican side for taking action. In a press release, Senate Minority Leader Mitch McConnell said, I welcome the U.S. and coalition operations against the Iran-backed Houthi terrorists responsible for violently disrupting international commerce in the Red Sea and attacking American vessels. President Biden's decision to use military force against these Iranian proxies is overdue.